Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome to yet another edition of Chit Chat with Pastor Matt. I am perusing our family prayer cards, this wonderful little booklet, uh, that our four-year-olds will be receiving this weekend as a part of our faith milestone, our faith milestones. Um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to give these prayer cards uh, to our four-year-olds at, e at any one of our services this weekend. But, you know, as I'm walking through it, going through it here a little bit, you know, it might be a little confusing. How do I exactly put this in the four-year-old's hand so that they can get the most out of it? Well, guess what? We have help for you parents. If you're just interested or curious as to, you know, how can I use this to the best of its ability? Uh, there is also a training session for you at 6.30 tomorrow in our extended care classroom in the preschool fours wing of our school. Yes, that's right. So a little training session for you uh, to walk through this, uh, to learn more about this so that your four-year-old uh, can receive or get the most blessings and benefits from these cool prayer cards. These are actually pretty sweet. Uh, I mean, actually, uh, tons of different uh, prayers that you can pray. You can pray to God when you're happy or when you're sad or when you're joyful or even when you're angry. Uh, but these are you know, really cool. You know, ultimately, they're designed to just kind of help our, our families, our four-year-olds, our parents, uh, you know, learn how to pray. Pray, of course, is a very important part uh, of our uh, faith, of our Christian life, our Christian walk. So, we look forward to giving these to our four-year-olds this coming weekend. After this weekend, believe it or not, Lent is upon us. That's true. Ash Wednesday is a week from today. A week from today. That's going to be fun. It's exciting. Who doesn't love Lent? You know, Lent's good. Good time for contemplation. But of course, it all leads up to a lot of people's favorite service, Easter. But we have six weeks to get through before we get to Easter. Anyway, Ash Wednesday starts also our Lenten Wednesday evening services. Those are at 345 and at 630, both of which will be in the sanctuary. Uh, in between those two services uh, is our Lenten meals, our Lenten dinners. Uh, they will be put on by a variety of different people uh, over the Lenten season, so you'll definitely want to check out some of those meals. I've seen the, seen the menu. They, they look pretty tasty. Uh, of course, this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and that means you, when you come to church, uh, you will receive ashes upon your forehead. Uh, we will be doing that in, during the service. Uh, so, you know, again, we encourage you to come and, and come to our Ash Wednesday service. Uh, we look forward to seeing you there. We look forward to walking, uh, walking through Lent together as a church here at Emmanuel. Uh, and also this weekend, you'll be able to pick up some Lenten devotional booklets uh, that will be in our atrium and then also in the uh, Fellowship Hall area, you know, when you, when you walk in to your right. So check out those. Uh, you know, use Lent as a time. Instead of giving up something this Lent, why don't you add a good practice to your Christian and faith walk? And what better way or what better thing to add than some devotionals? Anyway, there's a lot coming up here uh, at Emmanuel. I'm excited to walk with you uh, through all of this as we go on our chit-chat journey together. Uh, I'm going to keep learning how to pray. You guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you again next week.